Hello everyone. In continuation with the inverse Laplace transform, we'll be dealing in today's session for the differentiation of transforms. So by the end of the session, you'll be able to state the differentiation of transforms and evaluate the ILT using the differentiation of transform. What exactly the statement of differentiation of transform? It goes as if Laplace inverse of f of s is f of t, then Laplace inverse of f of s is equals to minus one by t. Laplace inverse of f dash of s. Okay, so this is the statement for differentiation of transforms of ILT. Now, this if you observe this minus one by t f dash of s and this f of t and f of s, you could understand here this property follows from the statement of t into f of t. That is the effect of multiplication by t, which goes as minus one, right? D upon d t of capital F of S, which is nothing but, so if I take this L to the other side, so this F of D upon DT, I can write down as minus 1 into F dash of S, right? And this L will go to the other side. So this, I will remain here with F of T is equals to minus 1 by T, right? Minus 1 by T into Laplace inverse of F dash of S. F dash of S. So this is the statement of this. And this F of T is nothing but Laplace inverse of f of s that means we could find out we can find out the laplace inverse of f of s if it is not can be cannot be directly found out uh, find out so we can use this f dash of t so we can use the lap uh, the help of laplace inverse of f dash of s fine okay so find the inverse laplace transform of log of s plus a upon s plus b so if you'll observe this function f of s as log of this we don't do not have the direct inverse function here so for that we need some adjustments and that adjustments or otherwise you can take the help of the f dash of s how it goes as it is log of a by b which is log of a by b property goes as log of a minus log of b this follows this step follows from that property which is nothing but f dash of s is equals to so i'm taking the differentiation of this function that is f of s as log of s plus a minus log of s plus b differentiation of this function will be 1 upon s plus a minus 1 upon s plus b we'll be using this particular property what we have discussed in the last that is differentiation so laplace inverse of f of s is equals to minus 1 by t laplace inverse of f dash of s and therefore laplace inverse of log of s plus a upon s plus b is equals to minus 1 by t times laplace inverse of this f dash of s which is this step which is this function and therefore, it is very simple to get the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus a minus 1 upon s plus b, which is e to the power minus at minus e to the power minus pt. And this is what we have got the answer as. So what we have done, we have taken the help of this f dash of s and Laplace inverse of f dash of s to get the Laplace inverse of given f of s, right? We cannot find out this particular function inverse directly. And that is why you have taken the help of Laplace inverse of f dash of s. Okay. So it's again log of s square plus a square upon s plus b the whole square, which is again the property of logarithm that is log of a minus log of b will go. Now this 2, we can take this 2 before the log term, which is 2 times log of s plus b. This first term remains the same. And f dash of s will give me, it is 1 upon s square plus a square into differentiation of to differentiation of s square plus a square which is this is because i'm differentiating with respect to s the differentiation of s square plus a square with respect to s will give me 2s clear and therefore minus of 2 times log of s plus b which is 1 upon s plus b into differentiation of s plus b will give me 1 because we have this s to the power 1 over here and therefore we'll be using the same property and with the Laplace inverse of this function, which is a straightaway function, if you'll observe this s upon s square plus a square, which is a cos of 80, this 2 is a constant, minus 2 times e to the power minus of bt and into multiplication of this minus 1 by t. And that's what just we have to adjust the terms and all. This minus sign, we can take it out and we will get it as 2 by s into e to the power minus bt minus cos of 80 as the final answer for this particular question. Uh, let us go again but for one which is a uh, different than what we have done in the last two questions so it's a tan inverse of 2 upon s square 
which is f of s as tan inverse of 2 upon s square which is f dash as equals to so tan inverse of 2 upon s square the in, uh, the la differentiation of this function is 1 upon 1 plus x square into differentiation of this x by a or otherwise you can say the x by a term right so it is nothing but so it's 1 upon 1 plus 2 upon s square the square into differentiation of 2 upon s square with respect to s will give me minus 4 upon s cube right and which is equals to suggest the adjust me adjusting the terms minus 4 s upon s to the power 4 plus 4 so we'll be going ahead with this so which is minus 1 by t laplace inverse of f dash of s and therefore it is minus 1 by t laplace inverse of minus 4 s upon s to the power 4 plus 4 we cannot directly find it out so we have to adjust the terms we have to complete the square in the denominator so we have a first term we have a final term so we can write down the in between step uh, in between term that is a plus 2s and minus 2s so plus 2s will go here so we'll be doing it as a plus 2s sorry plus 4s square minus 4s square so it is this this first term will be going ahead with this minus 4s square so which is 1 upon s square plus 2 the whole square minus 2s square a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b and this type of uh, partial fraction we have done it in the partial fraction series partial fraction decomposition series you can refer that particular uh, video of mine i have given you the detail of this particular uh, partial fraction so this is by the partial fraction of a minus b into a plus b so this will give me 4 by t into 1 by 4 times laplace inverse of this 1 upon s square minus 2 s plus 2 and this is equals to and therefore it is this 4 will go off i'll remain here with 1 upon t laplace inverse of 1 upon again this s square minus 2 s s square minus 2 s we can make a perfect square over here adding plus and minus 1 so this will give me s minus 1 the whole square plus 1 and again here s square plus 2 s plus 1 minus 1 will give us s plus 1 the whole square plus 1 which will give us the laplace inverse so if you apply the laplace inverse to the first and the second term here it will give me 1 by t e to the power t sin t minus e to the power minus t sin t and which is nothing but sin t upon t is out and you will remain here e to the power t minus e to the power minus 2 minus t multiplying divide by 2 we will get it as 2 by t sin t sin hyperbolic t because we are doing it here multiplication and uh, division by 2 so this term this term will give us the term as sine hyperbolic okay so we have got this particular thing and this is the self observation slide which is the three questions along with the three answers if at all you have any query please put the question in the comment box and thank you Happy learning!